to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and let's play around with some rate limiting on an interface. So we've got a router here inside of GNS3. I already have my config up, my console window up, and we're gonna say on our internal network, on Fast00, we have a server, and we're running a hosting provider business. We've got a line going out to a customer server, and we have promised them one megabit per second average rate. So they could run one megabit per second, 24 seven, 30 days a month. Doesn't matter, that's what we've promised them and that's what they've paid for, okay? Uh, kind of a very common bit rate for customers inside of ISP or hosting provider. And then on our other interface, we have a line going out to the internet. There's Facebook, MySpace, all that evil stuff on the internet. Doesn't really matter, we're not gonna configure the left side, we're only gonna configure fast zero zero. So rate limiting, what we wanna do is we wanna take the actual speed of the interface. So on a fast ethernet interface, it's going to be able to burst up to normally 100 megabits per second. But what we wanna do is we wanna sort of squeeze that down and say, okay, well, whoever's connected to this interface can only get a maximum of one megabit per second. So definitely slower. Now, why would we wanna do this? Well, we've promised the customer this speed but also our outgoing pipe to the internet might not be that big. So we are selling multiple uh, servers. So we might have 10 servers here and we've all promised them one megabit per second line rate, uh, average rate per second. And then over here, we might have a 10 megabit per second connection. So we're able to serve that to these guys. If we just let the servers blast out to whatever, that's going to quickly saturate our internet line. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Okay, so we're going to go to our config menu. Going to go into the interface, interface fast zero zero. And rate limiting, it's actually an old command, but it's uh, pretty easy to use, very simple way of doing things. Rate limit, question mark, input. So we're going to in rate limit everything that goes into the interface, question mark. And in bits per second, we put in our average rate. So we're going to say 1 million bits. So we're going to try to limit everything to 1 million bits. So if this server tries to send at 2 million bits per second, it's not going to do it. All it gets is 1 million bits. Rate limit input 1 million. Question mark normal burst byte. So burst bytes is kind of confusing. What Cisco does is it takes one second and by default, it slices it up into eight pieces. So if you take a second and slice it up into eight pieces, what you get is 125 milliseconds per piece. And normal burst bytes is how many bytes can you send in that eighth of a second, okay? And what's really confusing here is this is done in bytes, whereas your average rate, your rate limit number is done in bits. So that you know, that can kind of make it confusing. So in this case, we're gonna make it very easy. We're gonna pull calculator over here. I'm gonna type in one million. So that looks like one million. We're going to divide by eight first to get our bytes. So one million bits is equal to 125,000 bytes. And then we're gonna divide by eight again and that gives us 15,625. So we're gonna say you're able to burst up to 15,625 or 15,625 bytes. So let's pop that in there. 15,625, 15,625, space question mark, and our maximum burst bytes, we're gonna make it the same. Conform action, so what happens if it is under this burst rate? We're gonna say transmit. Transmit. Exceed action, what happens if it exceeds the rate? We're gonna say drop. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Okay. Now what's gonna happen here is, technically if I keep this burst rate, the 15,625, What's gonna happen is most of the time, I'm never gonna hit 
one megabit per second average rate. And the reason for that is in one eighth of a second, I could have the server not doing anything. It might not be sending any traffic. So for that time slice, it's going to have a zero. And in the next spot, the next eighth of a second, maybe it's very busy, so it's going to burst up to 15, 625. And we could have this where in one second we might have two or three slots that might have nothing in them. And uh, we're going to be definitely under one megabit per second. So what you might want to do is increase this burst size a little bit. And we could say something like 20,000, I guess. We're just making up numbers here. 20,000 and maybe 24,000. Okay, something like that. So what we're saying is normally you can go 20,000 bits per second, 20,000 bytes per second, and you can burst up to 24,000 bytes per second. But on the average per second, once it's all averaged out, you can only hit one megabit per second. So it can get a little bit confusing, but you just have to play around with the numbers a little bit. We'll hit enter right there and your rate limit has been applied. Let's see if there is a show rate limit somewhere. Probably under show interface fast zero zero. There you go, interface fast zero zero, rate limit. Okay, probably have to enable that. Interface fast zero zero, no shut. All right. And we get some errors here. Let's see, cannot register, blah, 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 blah. Looks like the router is going crazy. That's all right. Hit the up arrow a couple times. Show interface fast zero, zero, rate limit. And this is our rate limit information. Parameters, one megabit per second, 2,000, 20,000, and 24,000. Those are bursts. And then conform exceeded that these are the things that you will see if packets are being dropped or packets are being matched you could do this and you could see the counters here okay so let's take a look at our config and you have to realize or just remember it's still under the interface and this is our rate limit information our rate limit configuration. You can see it's a long line, rate limit, input, number of bits per second, and then your burst sizes in number of bytes. Okay, so that was a quick and easy video of setting up a rate limit inside of a Cisco router. This particular command right here is a very blunt instrument in that it's going to affect all servers connected to this fast ethernet interface. So the most that this interface will now transmit is one megabit per second. So if you were to have 10 servers here and one is transmitting at one megabit per second, technically it could crowd out the other servers. If two transmit at a time, each one might be doing 500 megabits per second. It just sort of depends on the traffic. But all this will do is that particular interface will max out at one megabit per second. In a later video, I will show you how to match particular IP addresses to give a particular IP address more bandwidth than the others. Thanks for watching.